72. Shoot! Oh, lucky here. A bidet. Pidet. <laughs> I am Pudet. Pudet, mate. Pudet. Pudet, mate. Pudet, mate. You'll be a you we go down. You are a bit of a You think we're funny? Yeah, I giggle. What's up, you two? Oh, I'm lucky here, and today we're doing the deck building process of the booster box battle between Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon and uh, Spell Slash Magic Ruler. And once again, Mr. Alex will be helping me do this Mr. process. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. There we go. And then we have Ricky behind the camera. Hey. 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 And, and uh, thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we have this uh, beautiful Realms of Havoc. I think this is a six, or I think it's eight, huh? I think it might be eight. This thing's freaking huge, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's a six or eight foot playmat, so basically it's for drafting, is what it's for. And, uh, or it's just awesome, so if you guys wanna find one of these somewhere, yeah, they're freaking sweet. So we're gonna use it for this booster box battle. And also we have the Realms of Havoc life counter, like, I, don't, I just had to pull this out of the packaging because it's freaking amazing, I don't know. For all you Magic players out there, that's... Or, or anything that requires 20 to 40 life, whatever. Yeah. It's freaking amazing. So the dragons actually have names. I can't really see them. Uh, this one's Deote. This one's Shadowte. It's kind of covered over there. But uh, Deote, Deote Shadow. So it's like a white and black kind of thing. And then you have Bork. Yeah, Bork was her name. Bork. I don't, I don't know. But she looks really cool if you guys see her. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get started here. We also have the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Realms of Havoc sealed deck tin kind of thing here so it actually is very cool we uh, didn't discover this until just a moment ago but it has many little tin cases of so that's shadow say there you go there's a good picture of them and uh, there's Bork and uh, Deote right there so yeah I'm pretty pretty stoked for this this is like way cooler than I thought it was but yeah so Alex is gonna be using the green today got it got it I'll be using the blue to go with the legend of blue eyes, white dragon. And uh, yeah, we'll just set this over here. This gives you an idea of what the whole mat looks like. That's kind of why I was leaving it out for you. And we also have the uh, dice pouch. This one is called the uh, Dungeons and Dragons dice pouch, the squid. And uh, you see it right there. I think I showed it off in one of those Ultra Pro Care Package videos. But yeah, so if you open up the back here, dun dun dun. Oh, are those oh, the gravity dice? Gravity dice! Oh, gravity <laughs> dice. So yeah, I always like those. Thought that was pretty cool. I just set that over there. So. <clears throat> All right, so let's get started with this. Alex is building a spell ruler slash magic. We're gonna say magic ruler, right? I know magic the box ruler, is spell okay. ruler, but the cards actually say MRL on them. They do MRL. Yeah. So uh, that's the European box, by the way. So it has some LOB cards in it. Um, he's not allowed to use those because I say so, and. So he's taking uh, out some of them? I said so. I said so. I don't want to use his cards. I know. Well, he doesn't want to use them because they're bad, actually. But that's LOB for you. But, uh, yeah, so he's using MRL or Magic Ruler, and then I'm using the LOB or Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, all my monsters are pretty much normal monsters, except for the rares and foils are better. I would think so. Yeah. This but is attack and defense, though. Right. I don't think you're going to be worried about defense, though. Yeah. Got shield and sword in there? Labyrinth wall, 3,000 attack. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Boom! So we made a little rule for ourselves. If we're gonna be playing a normal monster, we're playing in face up defense face position. Face up defense <laughs> position. <laughs> if they're going in defense position. But so uh, that'll be fun for you guys. I gotta watch. figure out how to get this duel pass turn two right now, because I'm turn concerned. two. <laughs> I, dude, I think you're I just mean, gonna you gotta be Europeans. I got the Eurobees. <laughs> I got the Eurobees. <laughs> and the red eyes. Hey! hey red eyes. So my deck, you guys, my idea here is uh, summon red eyes. That's kind of what I got going for me. Uh, got some rares that have 2,000 defense, as you can see there. Uh, it's Giant Soldier of Stone, Spear of the Harp, Aqua Medour. Um, that's how you say that. But yeah, so that's cool. Also have the Maneater Bug. That's cool. 
And that's about it for monsters that are decent. <laughs> Hain Hain and Arm Ninja can do a little bit of work, maybe. Um, Arm Ninja can get rid of Toon World, by the way. And, but I do have Dark Hole. Oh. Monster Reborn. This was Pot of Greed. Stop defense! Fisher, actually, that's, that's a good card. That and Trap Hole. So broken. And Two Prong Attack. Yeah. And polymerization, which I can't use because all my monsters have like 500 times. So uh, something that I was reading through that I thought would be really awesome for a booster box battle <laughs> was uh, this card, Ceremonial Bell. Oh, oh, Ceremonial nice. Bell. I'll just give you guys a quick little look at that. Pretty uh, basic artwork. It's 1850 defense, so I don't think you can get over it very easily at all, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, the effect... As long as this card remains face up on the field, you and your opponent must show your respective hands to each other. That'll be a lot of <laughs> ever. I can't get over it. So yeah, let's see. If I'm going to run some ritual monsters, I want Sonic Bird in there. Spear Cream can be fun, because I have a uh, painful choice right over here. Sleeved up. Oh, painful choice. If you guys don't oh. know what painful choice does, it is banned for a reason. So it, it actually got banned, I believe, because of Chaos decks back in the day. Oh, and, you know, it's the light and dark removed from your grave type decks. And so, painful choice is select five cards from your deck. So you select, like, two darks and three lights, right? Also, it works well, well monster reincarnation. I remember that going off a few times. Uh, select five cards from your deck, show them to your opponent, and your opponent selects one card, and you add that one card to your hand, and then you discard the remaining cards. It's also really cool awesome way. in Chaos decks. Yeah, it's really good in Chaos decks. And also, it was uh, with Sinister Serpent back in the day, too. And Sinister Serpent, yeah. yeah. Add it to your hand if it's sent to the grid. So basically, like, well, I guess I'll add Sinister Serpent to your hand. I guess. Because you might as well, because it's going to go to their hand anyway. He also has the giant Trunade, which is banned because of Wombos a lot. But yeah, return all spell and trap cards from the uh, field to the hand. So, <laughs> Alpha Strike. Oh, yeah, you get the <laughs> this time. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, I got Dark Hole. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's super trap. No blue eyes. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no dark magician. No dark magician. But I didn't get red eyes. I was happy because you only get two ultras in one box, and I was happy that I got one of the monsters. You know? red eyes. Imagine if I got two Exodia pieces for my fucking ultras. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been bad. That would have been awful. <laughs> I'm going to make an Exodia <laughs> deck, guys. <laughs> Alex, can I have three pieces from somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually would. Uh, It'd be a really bad deck, though. <laughs> that would not be good at all. <laughs> Nothing to search them whatsoever. Mm. All right, so to my deck, you guys, we have uh, we don't have many options here. <laughs> so pretty much we need to look at our magics first, and we need to decide what normal monsters we're going to use. <laughs> and uh, so we need to decide if we're going to use Yami. Yami. We're going to use Yumi. 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 <laughs> or we're going to use Forest. I don't know why they didn't change the name of Forest. I like how Forest is the English, but you have Umi, Yami, and Sojin, and then you have Wasteland and Mountain, you know what I mean? It's like, so we got Why? the English, and then we got the Japanese. So you got, you got Ocean, Dark, and Field, or so Grass. Is Dark? Yeah, Yami, yeah, Yami, Dark, Yugi. Uh, Yami, Yugi. Oh, oh, Ricky! Light bulb, <laughs> light bulb! <laughs> he got it. So I need to decide which of these Field spells I'm going to use. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Hey, Pokemon Go hype. Yay! Nah, dude, uh, Moon and Sun hype. Uh, yeah. Sun and Moon, yeah, it's gonna be Charmeleon. Yeah, I saw the starters, but I didn't see the starters. The starters are alright, the new Legend is coming. I didn't see those. It's a uh, Moon Bat and a Lion Sun. Moon Bat? Definitely want lions. both. Yeah, because it's Moon and Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a Moon. It's pretty cool. The moon, they did a pretty good job, I think. Guys. It looks kind of like Crobat. Oh, Fantastic. Crobat was cool. Crobat's all. Yeah. I'm just agreeing with everything you guys said. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just busy here looking at my building my deck while uh, Roman doesn't have too many options, so he's just acting like he's looking at his deck. But really, he already knows pretty much what he has to play. Yeah. Yeah. Yami, 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 yugi. Uh, increase the attack of fiends and spellcasters. Ooh. Those are cool cards, but I don't think I have any. <laughs> and then decrease the attack of fairy. I don't think Alex is going to play. Oh, don't no play Shiny Man! <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to take him out right now. Though. You mean if he dies, he just goes and gets another light anyways? You're going to play a Nimble Momonga just for the hell of it? Even though you don't need more? <laughs> Gain that thousand? Yeah. It's still better than anything my deck <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but if you're going to say it, like... Uh, 
but I think we're gonna we're gonna allow a little bit of play field spells like continuous magic. I think that's what we'll do. I think that sounds fair. I think it'll so it'll, it keep it stays in the zone at least, right? So I can't abuse my zones. Yes. All right, for water basically. That's about it for water. So we're probably not gonna be able to use that's that not, Umi. Yeah, that's we're, gonna have, we're gonna set that Umi aside with the waters over there and just be like, not worth. Yeah, hashtag not worth. And so uh, Skull Red Bird though, this is probably the strongest four star I have. Uh, 1550 attack. He's a big, big boy, big girl. 1550. Uh, and it has a flavor text like every other normal monster in here. This monster swoops down and attacks with a rain of knives stored in its wings. Wow. That's intriguing. That's like that weird dude in the new X Men Evolution or X Men Apocalypse movie. Gives in. One guy has like metal wings and he like speaks two words the entire movie. You're just like, why is he in this movie? Uh, it's King of the Dark Abyss, that's a 1200 fiend. And we got King Fox. We got Trial of Nightmare. Trial of Hell, as they call it. Uh, that is a 1300, you know what I mean? So we're going to go with that. Oh, and Woody Phantom. I actually like this card. Woody that's, Phantom? That's Kaiba's card. 1400 attack. I forgot the hat. Right? Fiend monster, yeah, the girl. Oh, the girl. Yeah. She's huh. in the uh, OVA or the uh, filler arc of Yu Gi Oh! Wasn't in the manga. It's where they went into the virtual world. Remember that? Oh, when they fought the five headed dragon. Yeah, they fought the five headed dragon at the end, and it was like a whole MMO type RPG yeah. type thing. Hey, uh, Fall Spell Kingdom was based off of that, right? The GameCube game? I believe it's something to do with it. Loosely based off of it. What game? Fall Spell Kingdom. It was like half RTS, GameCube. half RPG. Yeah. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah, it, it, it was, was really fun. It was considered a bad game, but as a kid, I have a ROM for it. <laughs> I might have the game. Wow. I think I actually might own the game. I never it. I had it for a very long time. I have time. a GameCube. I have two controllers. We, have a we gotta play it. We should check later. <laughs> sure. Just put it up? Yeah. Alright. If the viewers would enjoy watching that. Yeah. Uh, so, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment. I'm doing your job, man. <laughs> How about you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Suck you this night. So it's a succubus guy, so I wonder what she does with all those hands. Huh? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, Alex has allowed us to play our field spells as continuous spell cards. And uh, so if we have Sojin and Forest on the field at the same time, that pumps our Beast Warriors by 400 attack. <laughs> Getting into some real attack now. <laughs> Let's so see. Our, our 1,200 monsters will be 1,600. <laughs> a monster equipped with this card increases its attack by 700. All right, stop. <laughs> and then we have all a bunch of Earth cards that are cool, but are below 1,000 attack and essentially useless. But we do have Kagamusha of the Blue, the first Kagamusha of the Six Samurai. Yeah. It's pretty much seriously looks exactly like his picture. It's like, it's like ready to go. Well, he's like naked and then he put on wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, get some armor. Oh, dude, it's you, you get naked and you put on the hard armor. It's a card. I'm not just saying that. That sounds sexual. That sounded really <laughs> bad. <laughs> just the look I'm giving you. Right yeah. now, man. This is a game for kids. Yeah. <laughs> you put on the hard armor on the Kagamusha. And you get I'm the Kagamusha, the six samurai. It's called hard armor. Yeah, a living suit of armor that attacks enemies oh, with a, a bone jarring and tackle. They did that on purpose. They definitely did that on purpose. Come oh, on. I mean, we're calling you out right now. We're calling them out. The hard armor has a bone tap. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes on the naked guy. And it goes on the naked guy. Well, that was that was more me than Konami. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Konami implied it. Yeah, yeah. they did. They were doing <laughs> Then I have a uh, Rush Recklessly, two Malevolent Nuzzlers, a uh, Turtle Oath for my Karab Turtle over there. I think he's the only ritual that I'm going to run. And let's see, I have a Magical Labyrinth for my Wall Shadow and two Labyrinth Walls. Uh, Flying Kamikiri for Wind Monster, I'm running Queen Bird because she has 2,000 defense and pretty big. Uh, I can get her out with him because he's 1,500 or less attack. Uh, Cyber Jar because why not, he's pretty fun, right? Senju because I have the, uh, the Ritual guy, so I want to run two of him, huh? Make sure I get it off. Is, it, is, that, is that right? <laughs> two Senjus? No, two of the original monsters. Uh, yeah, I would play two and two. Two and two, you think so? You can play more. It's not like you have to play one. All right, I'll play two and two. At least two and two. Like, you can play three and three, shit. <laughs> you can use, because you can use, he's fodder for himself. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. He's, he's, on he's in mine. Yeah, if you have two in your hand. Well, shoot. I guess I'm not going to be adding that many cards to this anymore, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, naughty boy. Oh! Wind beast equipment! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes! Our wind! Alright. What else do you got? Oh, what else I got? So I got Mother Grizzlies and Ricky, somewhere stop, in here. Stop talking like that, Rick. You're raising my body heat. <laughs> 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 oh boy. So, oh, Mother wait, Grizzly wait, 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 and a Red Archery Girl. Now, now I gotta pull out my, got my Electro Whip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't this make me get my hard out. armor. It'll bone you. <laughs> Alright, I took that one too far. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Now you guys know what he's into. Preach. <laughs> 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 This is I might have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Alright, what were you saying? <laughs> what else you got? Pio's on it here! Pio's on Ryu! So we're gonna be yelling a lot when we summon red eyes and Heels on Ryu! Heels on it here! Heels on Ryu! Oh man, I I no, seriously, when I opened that card when I was a kid, I was like, this name is sick. <laughs> yeah. Heels on Ryu! I love the art on this card, like, come on, that it looks, looks so cool. cool. I like it. Did they ever do any other rarities for him? No. Like, he looks kind of like Metal Dragon. Yeah, Metal Dragon. Except, sweet. way cooler. Yeah, he does. Because, like... I'm just saying, I have a card that's cool, too. <laughs> do you want to have a natural dragon or a machine dragon? Like, anybody can just make that, you know? Can I just have that in my deck as a, <laughs> as a tribute? <laughs> yeah, go for it, dude. Six-star, 1,850 <laughs> 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 oh boy, this game. I know, we need some extra Oh, rules. hey, I have Spellbinding oh, Circle. Oh crap, I forgot even that. Oh, uh, uh, it's so pretty. Let's just look at that for a second. But I have removed Trap. Yeah, for my one Trap. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna hold on to three of those for half the duel. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll play one just to draw it for the Spellbinding Circle. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Can I use my fusions as monsters? Is that okay? Would you be okay with that? Um, yeah, sure. It's like true. Calabonga Warrior, dude. He's 1500 attack monster. <laughs> <laughs> Calabonga, dude! Dude! Metal Dragon! We're gonna play. We have to play now. <laughs> Wait, are you really? Yeah. Is it, unless it bothers you. Yeah, no, it doesn't bother me. It's not. I don't think the audience will care, dude. There's a point where LOB needs as much help as they can get. <laughs> and this is that point. <laughs> That'd be AI. It's John. Well, here Jack? we have this guy. This guy. You want to fight about this it? This guy. I'll duel you. <laughs> what do you call? Jaina. Jaina or John? Yeah. I think it's John. I mean, Jaina would be J A. I say both. I say both. I Jana. Or Jaina. No, John or Jaina. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's what I said. No, you said Jaina. Jaina, John. Jaina. Jaina, Jaina. <laughs> okay. You name your kid this name and just be like Jada, John, and Jan. You call me the I'm gonna have three kids, and all three of them are gonna have the same, same spelling for their name. Pronounced. There's gonna be three different names. <laughs> there we go. Wow. No, I've heard Jana, so Jana, John, and Jana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's Jana. Or Jana. Or no. Jana. Jana or John. <laughs> It's Jan or John. It's not Jan. No one says Jan. <laughs> You're just off on that one. That's just you, man. That's like that's like Airy. That's uh, <laughs> pretty low. My bad. My bad. But calling it Airy, man. That's. <laughs> All right, guys. You sleeved up. I'm sleeved up. Leaving my heels on real. Give it to front. Him. Tell him what's up. Okay, so I'm going with two heels. Roll call. Heels on the rear. He is a real! I was saying it wrong earlier, so I need a reminder. Then a uh, double labyrinth wall. Wait, wait, give us, give us flavor text. Show us what's oh, up, dude. Flavor text? Give us some flavor. We want the hour long video now? A dragon created from a massive diamond that sparkles with a blinding light. <laughs> so, uh, for all you dragon lovers out there, this is the twilight of dragons. He's bright like a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> sparkles in the sunlight. Uh, Labyrinth of Sparkles. <laughs> Dragon of Sparkles. Labyrinth Wall. These walls form a labyrinth with no exit for any <laughs> These walls form a labyrinth. It's like you're convincing yourself. They form a labyrinth. 
<laughs> Konami, you are just you're spot on nailing it. They're old cards. Yeah, they're, they're classic. <laughs> There's probably like two dudes that just did the uh, interpretation from yeah, Japanese yeah. to English. And it was just like, come on, man. <laughs> Literally, their flavor text is Labyrinth Ball. All right, Queen Bird. This monster attacks enemies using its huge beak. Also, it is the queen of birds. The fact that you guys believed it, though, is uh, pretty funny. It's a wall shadow to go with my uh, labyrinth wall. Actually, that's going to be a lot of fun. How does it work? They don't even know. Shadow. Oh, yeah. So, wall oh, shadow. Yeah. It's like it's a scripted video. I have to be surprised that he asked that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, so my combo, eh? <laughs> my combo! <laughs> we just go Canadian all the time. So Labyrinth Wall, I randomly get to throw down Wall Shadow when I equipped it with Magical Labyrinth. Whoa! So I equip this onto one of my Labyrinth Walls and then I get to special summon my Wall Shadow from my deck. anywhere. I from your deck. deck. We can make it anywhere though. For, okay, the, for cool. the duel. That's cool. fine. So yeah. if it's in your well in your hand or deck. I'm not really not the not brave. Great. No. <laughs> well, don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. <laughs> well I'm only more running one magical labyrinth. So are you gonna run two? two? You're not gonna do two. No, I'm not gonna do two. You're gonna do three labyrinth walls, two magical labyrinths, and one wall shadow? Dude, you would have the Oh, I forget their names. Damn it. Oh, oh the brothers. The brothers. With the giant germs, Cyber Paradox Black. Brothers! Woo! Boost! He wins! Boost! <laughs> Very nice. I don't remember the names, but they are the Paradox Brothers. Yep. And they used Wall Shadow, which was incredibly overpowered in the, show. in the show. Yeah, it was like, attack your monster into the wall. Yeah. 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 You attack back or and then it's like, oh, by the way, that monster that's way over there in that zone that you summoned four you know, turns ago to get to walk all the way to that zone, Wall Shadow. <laughs> Eat it. Yeah. Also, I'm going to randomly attack the life points directly, because Wall Shadow. Did it do that? I don't, I don't think they did that, but... <laughs> That's the state of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know it like a field spirit. You know, those guys were giant dicks. And the, the other one... <laughs> Dude, did they have their hard armor? <laughs> they were just like, we're gonna make up whatever rules we want. <laughs> no, they, they did do that, though. The other one, the guy that pissed me off the most was Duke Devlin. Duke. <laughs> he made his own game. And just like randomly, just didn't teach anybody about his game, oh, yeah. and was like, "I'm gonna take your soul if you don't beat me at my own game." Then I'm just gonna make up all the rules for it on the spot because it's my game. I, I don't think it was the soul. I think it was he's gonna be my bitch. Wow. Was it? Yeah, he has to wear his dog costume and be my bitch and bark whenever I tell him to bark. I don't remember that. Joey had to do that. Joey did. And that. then Yugi was like, I'll give you my title King of Games if you beat me Something like at that. your yeah. own dice game. That you just made and you only know the rules of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Yugi's like sitting there on his uh, tablet, by the way. Future. Ooh. Yugi, 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 Yugi. Or the people who made the show anyways. Konami. And so, yeah, he had his tablet. He's like, boop, 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 boop. He's like looking up the rules while they're playing. And he's like, oh yeah, Duke, I activate my special ability. He does this! <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, his, his rework is really cool. So then I got Sonic Bird to go with my Senju and my other guys. So Sonic Bird, when he's uh, thrown down normal summons, I... Uh, thrown down normal summons. Yeah, just toss him out on the field, let him do his work. Do him on the ground. No, nah, dude, I just push him off of a mountain <laughs> and he flies. That's not my dad, that's a cell phone! <laughs> 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 Do you remember that one? <laughs> I threw it on the ground. <laughs> so, anyways, spellbinding circle for his red eyes. I'm literally gonna save that for red eyes the entire I'm game. literally gonna hold remove track the entire game for that. <laughs> Painful choice, obvious. Uh, giant grenade, magical labyrinth. We already went over that. Turtle oath for the uh, crab turtles. Malevolent Nuzzler, because she's pretty cool. I was thinking about running horny unicorn, but malevolent Nuzzler is a little bit better. Rush recklessly. Listen. Is that just like, is that like 700 attack, right? Yeah, 700 attack, but it's a quick play, so I can. Oh, okay. That car's hella good. That, that car cool. is hella good. Uh, I'm gonna like, move trap on that card, and you're gonna be like, ha, it's a magic! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna be like, magic arm ninja, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> yeah. So, back to my deck over here. Hey. We're uh, still figuring out how exactly we're gonna play our cards here. Basically, we're forced to play any rare card that's decent at the game. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Alex has allowed us to use a couple of our rares that are fusions as monsters. That's very nice of him. Nine, oh, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <clears throat> so we need 22 cards here. All right, you guys. So after some long, thoughtful processes of Alex doing stupid shit and Ricky saying stupid things, <laughs> uh, we figured out how we're going to play this deck. So basically, we're going to either do the Beast and the Beast Warriors or the Fiends. And uh, basically, we're deciding to go with the Fiends because the Fiends have a little more attack for the consistency side without getting pumped up by all the Sojins and Forests and whatnot. So little Beaver Warriors isn't going to make the cut this time around. Bye bye. Bye Beaver Warrior. But uh, we can try it maybe again with him or something. So we ended up going with all the Fiend Monsters, or most of the Fiend Monsters, and three Yammies. And uh, once again, Alex has let us use the field spell as if it's uh, continuous magic. So we can play a couple of Yammies on the field. You know, that could be some fun. Fun time. Pump them up. Pump, pump, pump them up. And uh, other than that, though, there's some cool cards in this deck. There's um, a Metal Dragon that we're going to use as a tribute. <laughs> yep. 1850 attack. That's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. 1850. But it's a one, it's a six star, though, so we got a tribute for it. We have Calabonga Warrior, dude. Calabonga Warrior, dude! <laughs> Also, I'm using my Wing Beast, um, and then no field spell for the Wing Beast. We're going to use Follow Wind, though. Follow Wind is a 300 equipment for them. So that's nice. Tyhone and the Big Bird. And then for Urbeez, I got one Raised Body Heat. That's a 300 equipment for Dinosaurs. And uh, for the Fiends, you got the Dark Energy, which you, I believe, you used in the show early on. Ooh. Or somebody used it. Maybe it was Kaiba. I think it might have been Kaiba. Kaiba! On Soggy the Dark Clown, or maybe really? yeah, something like that. That kind of does look like the thing Soggy's holding. I believe he has something. I believe it didn't raise by 300. I think it like tripled his monster's attack or something. Wasn't Soggy super OP in the show too? I don't think so. I think you combined it with the card that made it triple its attack. <laughs> if it, if this monster's under a thousand attack, triple it or something. It's like one of the first episodes. Is that when he played his grandpa? No, that's when Yugi was playing with his grandpa's deck or something like that. Uh, I think that was when he was still obliterating the darkness in his heart. Got it. What did he say when he did it? And Kaiba, the, the, it went to like a mirror. Kaiba's face was like broken, like a mirror. The darkness was obliterated. He started with Exodia, obliterate! And then Exodia right, right, like, right. to just Kamehameha on ultimate <laughs> eyes. And that, that was the win. No, he did it on all three blue eyes, right? Well, yeah, it was ultimate blue eyes. Or, oh, it was three blue eyes on the Yeah, it was okay. three it was blue eyes. Blue eyes. Okay. Yeah. And then, so he did that, and then at the end he's like, Clear your mind! Right? I don't Is that it? Open your mind! Yeah. But the viewers know. <laughs> yeah. Open leave your comment. mind! Leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. What, what did Yugi say to Kaiba? And then he like, the darkness in his mind or something. All right, you guys, so which deck will be able to pull out the victory? <laughs> <laughs> After all the hard armor jokes, uh, you can't say pull out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <but> yeah. <laughs> so will it be Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, or Magic Ruler? Find out next time. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the... <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the booster box battle where we battle it out with our hard armor. Wow. See which, which bone tackles the strongest. <laughs> that one won't be on YouTube. <laughs> and Ricky still has his electric whip. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but once again, thank you, Alex, for helping us out with this. What is this? He's acting like he's already won. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and thank you, Ricky. No problem. For holding that camera. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I feel like it's going to be very hard for me to pull out a win here, but uh, I feel like we believe in the heart of the cards together. We can do it. Send all your faith to him. He needs it. Believe it. <laughs> and once again, YouTube, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more epic QG videos. And see you on Saturday. Oh, baby! A secret lives! What? What? Oh, snipes!